There are certain enduring values that have characterized our university for more than two centuries. They have an origin and a tradition that's even older. When you walk our campus in the fall and you see the banners that capture the spirit of Georgetown, you see the elements of this tradition. And those elements come alive in the day-to-day -day life of our university community. And they are what define us and differentiate us. This is the foundation on which we look forward to the next generation and generations to come. I can't imagine being anywhere else. No, I accepted Georgetown immediately as soon as I got on because I knew that was where I wanted to be. Everyone seems to be a big thinker. I know I've been teaching here for 37 years. For me, the constant is I keep meeting quality students. But uh, some of their helmets are on a little too tight. The students here are really um, the, exactly the kinds of students I've always wanted to teach. All the professors that I have encountered, they invest in their students. They inspire me to be a better me and to go after my goals and my dreams. It's not just academics. We're also here to think about things that are a little bit bigger than ourselves. If you've been blessed, it's very important that you give back. Being a man or woman for others. We all come from different backgrounds. We all uh, are different people. It's really about accepting everybody. I haven't found any other place that feels as much like home as Georgetown does. There's people from all over the world. Look at the people we've had come speak here and look at our alumni. When those voices come together, it's really powerful. Georgetown's location in DC is one of the main things that attracted me to coming to Georgetown. I'm on the second floor of this dormitory building and when I look out my window, I see the Capitol. You want to impact the world. There's everything at your fingertips here. But I'm also challenged to push myself to better understand what's going on in the world. This experience is really going to shape the way I live my life forever, really. <laughs> I'm not sure I would have become president if I hadn't come here. I'm so proud to be a Hoya. I'm a Hoya. I'm a Hoya. Hoya for life. Hoya for life. Georgetown University is a community where exceptional young women and men come together to realize their full promise, their full potential. Georgetown has a soul. It, it's not just beautiful bricks and mortar. And that soul is defined by our Jesuit and Catholic values, which, which stretch back since the founding of this university. Well, I think about John Carroll and Patrick Healy, and I think that we're meeting the challenge of our time in the way that they met the challenge of their time. Well, Georgetown has always seen and seized new opportunities. The School of Foreign Service was formed even before the United States government had a foreign service. So I think they took the name from us my own field of bioethics. Georgetown virtually helped to create the field. And now we're doing things that nobody else is doing. Well, if you think of where Georgetown has come in the last 50 years, from a regional university to an international and global power in academics, it's a remarkable rise in a short amount of time. And it's up to us to ensure that that trajectory will characterize Georgetown for generations to come. I believe there is a university that we are called to be, that we are meant to be. Whether you're talking about the frontiers of research or uh, innovation in the marketplace or innovation in the curriculum, pushing the frontiers only happens when you find new ways to cross boundaries. I think now more than ever, the world needs places like Georgetown. We need people who are able to integrate new ways of thinking to solve complex problems. Georgetown is also built on people that are so inspired that want to do better, want to see things done better, want to move to the future. I think what's most important as we look ahead is asking what are the structures and the resources that a university needs to make a whole greater than the sum of the parts. You know, at Georgetown, uh, we speak of the majus, the more, the, the greater, the better. We are always striving for something more. Great universities are built on great philanthropy. And this is our moment. We know this. We can't realize our promise and potential unless we fully engage the entire university community. Engagement is sort of the central word. You need people who share a vision, who want to change in the same direction uh, that we're trying to go. I have been engaged with Georgetown for the last 35 years. It never lost for me the sense that I owe it more than it ever owed me. There's so many ways to connect with this campaign. 
there's an avenue here for you. The more players there are on the team, the better off you'll be. The university's always had great alumni support, uh, but it needs to become even broader and deeper. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a culture of giving multi-generational culture of giving. But at the end of the day, we want to take this university from where we are today to that next uh, level. I think that there has never been a better time to invest in Georgetown because of how clear I think our vision is about how we can disproportionately impact society. I think we are best at providing people with a dream. And I think I'm one of those idealists who believe that without a dream, you're not going to go anywhere in life. This is the moment to reflect on what Georgetown has made possible in your life. And this is the moment to make it possible for future generations to realize their dreams and to transform the world. I want Georgetown to be what it was to me for generations to come. I'm so excited about the campaign. I, I want to be a part of it. What, what we say we're going to do, we follow through with it. You can never question a Hoya. At Georgetown, we are heirs to an extraordinary tradition of learning. It's a tradition that has been handed down from generation to generation by some exceptional leaders. Those leaders have given us an ambition for our university, which is our responsibility to realize. Now it is up to us, and only us, to secure Georgetown's place in the first rank of the world's universities. Let us prove worthy of that trust so the generations who come after us will know that we acted in the true spirit of Georgetown.